morning. So for today's numeracy challenge, I've stolen a game from Countdown and I'm going to go through the rules and then we'll have a bit of a practice and then it's something that you can do with your families at home. So the aim is to make the big digit number at the top by combining five smaller numbers using any of the maths operations you'd like. Okay, so to select my numbers, uh, so I don't make it too easy for myself, I did it randomly. Um, usually at school I would use number cards that we've got, but I don't have those at home. So I just picked out some UNO cards and selected them randomly through that. If you don't have UNO cards, you could use normal pack of playing cards, or alternatively you could roll the dice and jot down the numbers um, as you go. So, what I'm going to do is go through how we could make this number by using some of the operations. I'm not going to do it properly because I don't want um, to give you all the answers. So I'll have a go just to remind you of how we can do some maybe column multiplication or addition to help you. And then there'll be a timer and that's when you can have a go. So looking at this number, because it's quite large, I'm probably going to start by multiplying one of the bigger numbers I've got at the bottom by one of the smaller numbers. So I think I will pick the number 18 to start with. So I'll put my 18 here and I'm going to multiply it by the 6. So I'm going to line up the 8 and the 6 together because they both need to be in the units column. And then I'm going to put my multiplication sign here so it's out of the way and won't get confused. So I'm just going to draw my little lines here to keep it nice and straight. Now if you find it easier lining up your hundreds, tens and units by writing HTU above the different columns, you can do that. So I'll just demonstrate with my a little T for my tens and a U for my units. Now make sure I keep them in line. Okay, so to do this, I need to multiply six by eight first. We always start at the units column. So if you don't know how to do this, or you get a bit stuck, you could do a repeated addition. So you might want to do um, eight, add eight, add eight, six times. Um, that could help you out. Or you could ask maybe an older family member to help you out. Okay, so I've got one six is six, two six is a 12, three six is 18, four six is 24, five six is a 30, six six is a 36, seven six is a 42, eight six is a 48. So I'm going to put the eight under the six in the units column and the four in that number represents four lots of 10 because it represents 40. So I'm going to pop that underneath this line in line with the tens column. Now my next step is I'm going to multiply the six by one to give me the next answer to go here. So we know that one lot of six is six, but I mustn't forget this four that I've got here. Okay, so one lot of six is six, add to the four, which means it makes 10. So I'm going to put the zero in the tens column and then I'm going to put one here. And this would be like my hundreds column. Okay, so now I've used the 18 and the six. So I've put a little cross next to those. I can't use them anymore. And I've got the number 108. Okay, so what I can do to create a bit more space for myself, I can rub out the rest of that because I know that the only number I need to focus on now is 108. Oh, missed part of my zero there, don't mind. Okay, so now I've got to think, what can I do to the 108 to get it closer to the number 562 using either the 7, the 4 or the 20? Okay, so I'm not going to go into that anymore now because I think you're getting the hang of it and I don't want to make it too easy. So your aim is to ideally make this number, but if you can't, get as close to it as possible. Now, what I tend to usually do, and if you're in my class, we've done this on the board before, is I'll set a timer. And then everyone has a bit of paper. You can practice. If you make a mistake, you can cross it out and go again. It's probably best to start with a couple of minutes first, um, just while your brain's waking up. And then as you're getting more confident with it, you can reduce the amount of time. Um, so this can be done. You can pause the video and do this one now if you'd like, or you can create your own numbers um, with the, either the UNO cards or the playing cards or dice. Okay, and you can do it as many times as you want with your family. 
So I hope you have fun. It's just a little activity that you can do at home.